guys, it's your girl M, and I'm back with another video for you today. So I know I missed my upload yesterday, but hear me out, hear me out. My allergies are starting to get so bad, I have seasonal allergies. My eyes were literally so swollen yesterday. I took so much Benadryl and I was just knocked out because I didn't have any like Claritin. So I ordered some Claritin. I'm feeling much better today. But my eyes were so puffy. They're still, my face is still a little puffy. And my eyes are still like kind of itchy. So <sighs> I'm not wearing makeup and I probably won't wear, wear makeup for the next couple of videos. I want to get my eyes right because whenever I have allergies, my I just want to itch and the makeup just kind of irritates my skin and my eyes so <sighs> I might be makeup list for the next few videos but that's okay but I'm back with another video for you right this very second today Tuesday I'm watching Real Housewives of Potomac you already know how I'm doing over here the TV stays on Bravo although my best friend told me these shows that I need to watch so um, I, I started too Hot to Handle on Netflix, and I'm about to start watching Normal People on Hulu. So we'll see how all of that goes, but I wanted to show you guys my like favorite summer lunch snack meal little pick-me-up, and it is inspired by my beautiful granny. I just got off the phone with her, and I was like, you know what? Let me make a tomato sandwich in her honor today. So. Let me grab. So I'm going to show you what you need for a tomato sandwich. A tomato. Mayo. Even though I do not like mayo on anything else. I will only have mayo in like my ranch, an egg salad, chicken salad, and this sandwich here. Otherwise, I do not like mayo. I don't want anything to do with it. You need some country white bread. This is from H-E-B, the bakery, black pepper, and salt. Now, if you have fresh basil, that will work perfectly with this dish. But if it's not fresh, don't even bother. Now, the tomato sandwich is really close to my heart because the, it just... It's everything to me because my granny loves tomatoes and she always grew like cherry tomatoes and regular tomatoes like the really nice uh, heirloom tomatoes in her garden. So whenever I think about tomatoes, I think about her because in the summertime, literally every meal revolved around my granny's fresh tomatoes. They were the best, just so, so delicious. Homegrown tomatoes. You really can't beat it. Now, tomatoes are not in season right now, so I am dealing with these little, this little like tomato on a vine because that's all I can do right now. But my suggestion is when it comes time for farmers markets and everything like that in the summer and July, June, July, August, when the tomatoes are in season. Go to the farmer's market and get some big heirloom tomatoes. Oh my God, it's so freaking good. But we're gonna have to make do with this little, this little baby tomato. So first things first, you're gonna take your white bread and it has to be made on white bread. I don't make the rules, but this is like a traditional Southern tomato sandwich. Like, this is what you eat in the South. My granny's from West Virginia, and this is just all she would eat in the summer. It cools you down, it's not like a hot sandwich. It's just so good. And the tomato juice makes the bread like really soft, and I don't know, it's just, it's just amazing. All right, so I've got my bread. I'm gonna take my mayo. Now since I don't like mayo, I just I kind of put like the bare minimum my granny would literally put mayo on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich I'm not even lying to you she's kind of crazy she also would do 
Figuring also would make like peanut butter bacon sandwiches, which sounds kind of crazy, but it works. Okay, Abel. So I just do like a nice thin layer like this. You see? Let's do the other piece of bread. I just made some homemade ranch because like I said, I'm obsessed with it. So I just made another batch. I need to make another batch of granola. Ron ate all of it. He was like, the rest is for you. And then he ate the rest. So what the heck? All right. And I'm kind of taking the excess off because I don't like mayo that much. But in honor of my granny, we're eating it on this sandwich today. And that's, I mean, that's how you properly make a tomato sandwich. You also could put like red onion on it, but you really don't need to. All right, so you're just gonna slice your tomatoes and it works so much better when you're using like the fresh, the big huge heirloom tomatoes, you can really get like a good slice. All right. And yes, I keep my big knives in the sink all the time because that's what my granny does. And you know what? I'm way too old school. <laughs> I'm literally turning into my 93, wait. She's gonna be 93 this year, my 92 year old granny. I love her so much. Okay. Get some good pieces of tomato on here. So you've got two good pieces. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit, put that here, maybe do another little slice. And put it here just so the bread is pretty much covered with tomatoes. And those juices, the tomato juices just do something for the flavor of the bread and the mayo together, it just complements each other so well. And like I said, if you have fresh basil, chop some and put some on the sandwich. But if you don't have fresh, don't worry about it. Now I'm gonna take my sea salt. Other side, Emily. Put it right on the tomatoes. You could do sugar too. My granny put sugar on tomatoes. Don't ask me why, she does. Now you need to get like one of those fresh peppers, like the fresh ground pepper, because I just have this one, but in due time. Maybe I'll add that to my grocery list. And then just add some pepper. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper to this side too with the mayo and add maybe a little bit of salt here too. All right. Sandwich, you could toast it if you wanted, but I don't toast tomato sandwiches and you're gonna wanna do. If you cut your sandwich down the middle like this, you're crazy. I mean, I do sometimes, but. <laughs> For this sandwich, no. You wanna cut right diagonally. Look at that. Mmm, okay. Let's move this out of the way because I'm gonna do a little bit of a taste test for you guys. Let me clean up. I'm gonna save these little juicy bits of this tomato for my bagel tomorrow. We don't waste food in this house. No sir, no ma'am. It was like, give them to me. Give the tomatoes to me. I have an Amazon package coming because I did another delivery order for groceries because we were out of like drinks and stuff. And of course they didn't give me my buns and they didn't give me my pasta. So I had to do another Amazon grocery list. Again, it's gonna be delivered 
anywhere between now and 8 p.m. Do I want to do limeade or do I want to do some sweet lemon iced tea that I just made a little bit ago? What should we do? What drink should we have, Abel? You know what, I'm gonna go with the sweet tea. I feel like that would taste better than the limeade. So we're gonna do that. Let me grab some ice. All right. This is such like a Southern lunch. This is a lunch my granny would be proud of right now. All right, got my sweet lemon iced tea. Could put a lemon in there, but you know what? I'm being a little bit extra. And here is the world famous, the delicious, the Norma Mansfield, not so original because people have been eating tomato sandwiches for a long time and a lot of other people eat tomato sandwiches. But my granny is the queen of the world, so we're gonna dedicate this to Norma Mansfield, queen of the Mansfields, and the greatest human to ever walk this earth. <laughs> So let's go ahead and have a little taste. Mmm. This is the best. This is the best sandwich. And it's so simple. All you need is white bread, a tomato, preferably a heirloom tomato that was freshly grown but store-bought is fine i sound like ina garden salt pepper mayonnaise and you have a perfect sandwich and if you have fresh basil go ahead and throw it on there but mmm i love this And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a real quick, simple tomato sandwich video. Back with regular content tomorrow. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. You know what to do. And check out my Twitter at M and Man. I literally have a piece of bread stuck to me. My tooth and Abel twerking in the background. <laughs> Be sure to follow my Twitter at M and Man and my Instagram at Midwest Mansfield. Connect with me there. And you know what? Be sure to turn those post notifications on because I will be uploading tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your love and support. And I'll see you in the next video. Mmm.